Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn about uh, how to create uh, charts and graphs in Raglipids. So uh, to create a chart and graph, we should have a table. And on that table, we will be going to create the, the gra uh, graphs. For that, let's go to object browser and we'll see whatever table we have. So uh, we have projects, project comment, and all these things. So let's consider this project stable. Let me copy this table name and I'll go to SQL commands quickly and I'll do select star from this table. So we'll write select star from projects table and we'll see whatever data we have. Okay. So now we have all this data. What we will do, we will create a, we will create a bar, uh, bar chart and that bar chart will give us information about uh, what it will give the project name and uh, and corresponding budget. Okay, so we'll create a chart which will give us information about the about the name of the name of the project and their uh, respective uh, budget. So for that, let's create a page and we'll uh, we'll say let's create a blank page and we'll give name as graph graphs and we'll make it a normal page breadcrumb will give here a parent breadcrumb will say as components because we are going to create we are going to make it under components and we'll create a new navigation menu component is going to be the parent of this menu go to next and finish happened click on finish what happened uh, okay i don't know some something happened so let's create this page again i'll create a blank page i'll give page number as five we'll make it as graphs uh give a breadcrumb and parent will be components next. Oh, page is already in used, it is saying. Let's go to page. Page number five got created. Oh yes, page got created here. Let me run this page. And uh, we can see the page over here. All right, we have this graphs created already. No problem, we'll click on this graph here now here we are going to create uh, the graph for the project name and their corresponding budget all right so click on this quick edit and we'll go to content con uh, con body we'll create a region here we'll give a um, name as project and the budget okay and here we have an option uh, as chart. We'll select chart, uh, give a location as local database and, and why it's asking for we'll local database and we'll make it as SQL query. And here we will write our SQL query. So for that, what we can do, we'll do select, uh, select name, comma, budget. Um, what's the table name eb underscore projects from this okay we'll copy this entire code and we'll paste it over here just validate it and click on okay and here you can see in in this small uh, message we can see that three errors are there so we'll go to this thing this is coming from here go to this new mm, give a name to this we'll say project and here source will be region source. We are not going to create a new uh, um, query for this. We'll give source as region, label will be name and value will be budget. Now save this and run this page. And here you got this information. Here you have the project name and their budget. So as you can see, 
name of the project is migrate legacy application and the budget is 38000 so here we can see this beautiful chart with the project name and their budget all right so this is one way to create this uh, to create the chart we have uh, i mean if we if you want to show or uh, maybe some other representation of this chart that can also be done what we can do let's copy this entire thing uh, in entire uh, uh, region and we'll create a new region there we will create a different type of chart so to duplicate this record uh, to duplicate this uh, region we have an option called duplicate right click on it and there is an option called duplicate as soon you will click on this a uh, similar region will get generated okay so let's give a uh, give a name new name to this we'll say bar chart and here we'll make it as some other chart we'll say other okay and here uh, under chart uh, we have we have an option called attributes in attributes we have different type of charts what type of chart you want to show so let's select uh, mm, let's select a donut type okay and just save it and then run it and then when you scroll down here you can see this name of the project and their respective uh, value so this is another way to create a chart so here you will you will be able to understand that what is the total so by uh, i mean looking into this picture you will be able to understand that this is the project which is having larger amount of budget okay so this is going to give us another view of uh, the data this is a donut chart all right we'll give a name to this as donut chart instead of other we'll say donut save then run all right so this is one way this is another way now let's create another chart and we'll say that uh, we are going to have number of project and the total uh, total total budget okay so for that what we can do we'll do select count of one comma sum of budget this is a column from this uh, table name we'll copy this and paste it here let's run this first and we'll see what data we are getting yes so here we have total number of total 12 uh, 12 uh, um, projects are there and this is the total budget we have so we can show this thing also we'll give an alias name so we'll say total project and here we'll say total budget okay let's copy this entire code and we will create another uh, region over here this is one region this is another region we'll create another region and we'll give us give a um, name as total project versus total budget okay and we'll make a chart for this here uh, the source will be local database and type will be SQL query. We will paste it. Refresh this. Validate it successfully. Click on OK. And now go to go to attribute. We'll, we'll uh, create some other type of. Look into this combination. Go to new. We'll make it as a region source. Label will be uh, total project and value will be total budget. We'll give a new name to this project versus budget and uh, just save this change and run this page. Now, when you will come down here, we have total 12 project and the total budget. Okay. Uh, you can you can select any other type of representation of this chart. So maybe we'll say mm, 
any anything you can select let's say um, pie chart and just run this and when it come down here you can see total uh, number of projects is 12 and the budget of this project is 30 uh, 355 000. so this is how you can create different type of uh, graphs for your data that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial uh, if you have any question or want to know any other information you can comment below thank you